Maptitude is a powerful mapping software package and geographic information system, or GIS. With Maptitude, you'll be able to create informative maps that illustrate the geographic trends hidden in your data. This tutorial demonstrates the basic concepts of Maptitude that will give you the foundation you need to work with the software. Maptitude is a typical application with menus, windows, and toolbars. You can resize floating toolbars and dock them so that they are available but out of the way. There are many ways to get help while you're using Maptitude. For example, when you hover the mouse over a button, you will see a bubble description of the tool and information on how to use it. This is the zoom in tool and you can use it by clicking on the map or dragging a rectangle on the map. This button toggles the legend on and off. This button is one of the Maptitude Map Wizard buttons for creating a color theme on a map. When a dialog box is open, you can press the F1 key to display help. The help system will automatically go to the relevant topic. Context sensitive menus appear when you right click on certain elements. For example, right click on a label to see menu commands for labels. This menu includes commands for changing the label location, style, or display priority. Right click elsewhere on a map for other map options. This menu includes commands for saving a map, changing its contents or scale, and printing. Over here is the display manager. It shows you what geographic layers are in a map, whether they're visible or not, and lets you access style and label settings. When you right click in the display manager, the menu will contain commands for layer options such as setting the working layer, opening a data view of a layer, changing its auto scale settings, and more. Every layer has data associated with it, and data views give you a tabular view of that data. Hover the mouse over a field heading to see a description of the data in that field. For example, this field contains median household income from the 2016 Five-Year American Community Survey. Click the Close button to close a window. An important concept of Maptitude is the working layer. The Maptitude tools and commands that are used to set styles and labels create thematic maps, query features, and selector filter features all operate on one layer at a time, called the working layer. The working layer is shown in this drop-down list on the standard toolbar, and with bold text in the Display Manager. For example, the Info tool will display information about features in the working layer. So in this case, you'll see information about the state where you click. Choose a different working layer, such as County, and the Info window will show you data for the county where you clicked. Similarly, the theme buttons work on the working layer. For example, I'll make a color theme of income by county, and Maptitude creates the theme on the working county layer. You can also set the working layer from the Display Manager. Now, if I use the Selection Tools, I can filter records on the working layer. Finally, you can save all your open maps, data views, figures, and layouts in a single workspace file. Once your workspace is saved, choose Close All to close all the windows. Now that you have an understanding of the Maptitude basics, you're ready to try out the software. Also be sure to check out some of the other videos that give you more in-depth information about some of the features that were mentioned here, such as moving around a map, creating themes, using the Display Manager, and selection sets.